Hello everyone and thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this lecture, we will learn about SAP sales and distribution tables. Every data in SAP is stored in SAP tables. Now I will teach you the fastest way to find in which table and in what field you can find some additional data. So first, we will go to transaction VA03. Transaction for displaying sales order. We will enter some example order here and press enter. Now we see our sales order document. As you remember from our previous lectures, sales order document divides into two parts. First part, it's the header level of the document. And second part, it's item level. So if we have two parts of the document, header level and item level, we will have two different tables, which will be linked with sales order number. So sales order will be in both tables, header level table and item level table. Now we will learn how to find in what table we can find some fields or some data. So first we have sold to party field. We just press on field we need. After that we must press on our keyboard F1. We will call Performance Assistant, where we have some additional information about our field. So we see our field name is Sold to Party, and Sold to Party is the customer who orders the goods or services. The Sold to Party is con contractually responsible for sales orders. On this screen, we see one button with technical information. Just press on that button. And on technical information screen we'll see our table name and our field name. So we can find in this table our field. It's the simplest way to find necessary table. We can press now at standard order number. Click on the field, press F1 button. We see here some additional information in Performance Assistant and after that press on technical information. And we see here table name VBAK and field name for our standard order number VBELN. VBAK is table with the header level of the document. So all information in the header level is in this table. We B A K. Now we will take a look at item category level. So we see here our items data. We press on material field and press on our keyboard button F1 and call 
our performance assistant. We see information about this field, name of the field, and some additional information. After that, press on technical information. And we see here additional data and a structure table category. If we press on quantity, the same, select field, press F1, press technical information, and you will see here the same information, but field name is different. So this was the fastest way to find a table name and a field name. So if we know the field name, where we can find all information about the header level of this document, we can remember our table VBAK and copy our sales order number. And now we will try to see all information about this order in our table VBAK. We press create new session. And now we need to access one of the most important transactions when you're working with SAP tables. SE16N and press enter. So here we see general table display where you have selection field with table name. You can select table what you need using the small button. And search, for example, we star and press enter. So you will see now all tables in SAP which starts with letter we in our example. We will take a look at VBAK table sales document header data. We have maximum number of hits here. We can just delete this field. When we select our table, now we are ready to select our selection criteria. So here we see our selection criteria. On the left side, we see field name, displayed field name, like client, sales document. Next field is field value, for which we want to select data. Output checkbox. If checkbox selected, then we'll see this field in our output data. If we deselect some fields, we will not see these fields in our output data. And last, last field is technical name. Technical name is what we see when we press F1 button in our fields in transaction VA03. So we find the, our table name and technical name of the field, field name. Two most important parameters, technical name of, of table and technical name of field. So as you can see, we have all, all data from the sales order and we can use all these fields as a selection criteria to find necessary orders. It's very useful and basically it's very simple tool 
but one of the most powerful tool in SAP system to find some data or maybe to change some data. In some tables, we have option to maintain entries, but this standard table is only for display, without access to maintain entries. So, in our previous step from transaction VA03, we copied our sales order and now we are ready to paste this number in the sales document field, VBELN. We can press num the number of entries button and we will see that for our selection screen we will have only one entry found and press check input. And now we are ready to online processing. So here we see the list of display of entries found. So we see our sales document number and we see all information in one line for our sales document, which is very useful. All necessary fields and all necessary information are here. We can now go back to the main screen and delete our sales order selection filter. Instead of that, we will set a maximum number of hits, like 500, and press online. So now we see the first 500 entries, 500 hits in the VBAK table. This view is very similar to above list viewer, so we have the same buttons here. You can select your sales order. You can sort in ascending order these fields. Or you can sort in descending order. You can find some entries in uh, our table by pressing the find button and search term. You can set a filter providing some necessary information. Just like in SD reports, you select field for which you want to set a filter. After that, press filter and Choose your entry to delete your filter. Just press additional data inside filter and press on delete filter. Next button is make some so when you select your field and press this button, you will see total value. Or you can select your sales order and press subtotal. And you will see subtotal information for selected field. In our case, we select sales document number. Next you see print button, views button, export, where you can export this view, this uh, table to spreadsheet, work processing, local file, office, ABC analysis or HTML download. You can hide columns which you don't need. By selecting columns, press right button on the mouse and press hide or you can add some columns here by pressing right button on the mouse 
and click on show so you will see change layout assistant where on displayed column tab you will see displayed columns and column set which you can add to your displayed columns just select it necessary columns and press on show selected fields so you can sort data in sort order tab or you can filter using filter tab just select field for which you want to send to a filter after that select that column and press on filters and you can set here filter now in this view you see only displayed name of the columns but you don't see technical names which is very important in some cases and it is very important when you write some functional specifications for advanced business application programming developer and you will need to um, to write them some technical fields name so if you want to see the technical fields name just double click on the line and in this case you will see detailed display where you will see for this entry field name value technical field name and value unconverted unconverted value sometimes different from the displayed value for example in sales document we see displayed value without zeros in the beginning but unconverted value which is stored in the system is with zeros in the beginning so here you see all field name in this column with technical field name and unconverted value as you can see there are a lot of fields and you can choose from here all necessary information for your sales order you can update data if you know that some users create uh, sales orders for your selection criteria in the same time by pressing refresh button and now go back to the SAP Easy Access screen. Now you see most important SAP tables, which you, you can use and display in SE16N, as we showed previously. WBAK table with sales document header. WBAP with sales document item WBEP sales document schedule line category WBPA sales document partners data WBBS sales requirement totals record WBFA sales document flow WBUK sales document header status WBUP sales document item status VTFA shipment document flow, VBRK billing document header, VBRP billing document item, VBRE wiki revenue recognition control lines, VBRE we revenue recognition lines, VBRL invoice list, CDHGR change record for SD documents header. CD pose change record for SD documents items LIKP delivery document header LIPS delivery document item MKPF 
Material Document Header MSEG Material Document Item LTAK Transfer Order Header LTIP Transfer Order Item LTTK Shipment Header LTTP Shipment Item VTTS Station Transport VTSP Station Transport Per Shipment Item so you can use all these tables in SE16N transaction as we showed previously and to see some detailed information about every sales and distribution document. So we have successfully learned about tables in sales and distribution module and how to work with display table browser. SE16N. Thank you for watching EduPedia World Videos.